Mm. Hi everyone, uh, this is Sylvain Moreau from OWS, uh, HTTP www.owos.fr and uh, today I'm here to introduce you uh, to the SCALD module uh, which is really helpful to manage your media, uh, every kind of media on Drupal. Uh, you can find this module here on the HTTP um, drupal.org uh, slash scalde and you can download it and uh, install it on a fresh Drupal so today uh, in this first screencast I'm gonna show you how to simply install it and configure the module to manage uh, images uh, in your content types uh, so let's see this all you need is a fresh Drupal install so this is it um, you only need um, a small set of uh, modules um, which can be uh, seen here uh, which is Scalde itself. You can download the latest dev version or stable version on Drupal.org uh, Views, uh, WYSIWYG uh, and Qtip uh, to beautify your uh, user interface. Uh, so uh, let's see this uh, on my French installation I only have uh, set up uh, WYSIWYG and one content type uh, which is the content type everyone knows which is articles uh, with only title and body uh, so uh, not uh, not very much um, and here you can see my article with a small WYSIWYG I've set up with a WYSIWYG module and tiny MCE uh, with only a few features uh, so let's do this, node 1 and blah 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 with uh, my text format and let's save this. So what I'd like to do now is insert um, images uh, and share images with other uh, contributors so I'm gonna install Scalde um, maybe uh, we can uh, step to the installation so I've, all, I've already downloaded the module here uh, all I need to do is enable it so Let's make the Drush magic. Uh, scale D. Yes. So this does enable the core module, which uh, does not do nothing in itself. Uh, now we need to enable um, the field integration. So we need to enable uh, me, which means multimedia editorial element and which will um, uh, enable the magic of scaled module um, on your content types and we need to enable the library uh, which will allow your contributors to see all the images and media we will see that further mm, so let's do this And the last thing we will need is a provider, that means uh, something which provides you with um, uh, media format. And now for this demonstration I will uh, start with images and in the further screencast I will uh, show you all the providers and uh, the, the magic of the module. So let's enable scale the image. Mm, sorry. Okay, so so now we are all set, and uh, we want to enable our body field uh, to uh, accept drag and drop. So we will go to the content types and manage fields on the article. Okay, so we have a title and we have a body. And for um, be able to drag and drop, uh, drag and drop media in that field, we only need to check that checkbox, drag and drop enabled. So let's do this. And now, if I go to article, you can see the same uh, the same body field, but you have here the library, uh, which will go 
see after that. So now uh, we can uh, create image atoms. So now we can see the, um, the library, which basically is a view, so you can extend it after. Um, you can make some research, but we have no, no media there. And then uh, you can also add every kind of media. So we only have one provider, which is image. So here you can add image uh, that uses C tools, uh, chaos tools. So we start with the first image, like uh, maybe this one. Upload it. Okay. And continue. This is a two step form. Uh, now we can rename our image because um, Drupal got the, the name from the file. Okay, we can see the thumbnail. Um, you can make some authors, which is a, a taxonomy uh, which is implemented by the module and some tags if you want to use them for searching and for later theming. So let's say Drupal Scalde. And then you have the right on the atom, which basically is an entity used by Scalde, and every media is an atom. So let's do this. Now we have our new atom. You have a library here. You can edit it, view it, or delete it. You have a preview version, and the magic happens here. Let's close this one, and we want to drag and drop it here in the WYSIWYG and that's it. So my article and there you are and maybe we can do another thing we want to add another image so let's go to find another one this one, upload it, okay, I'm happy with that, mm. you can see the second one which is here, drag and drop it, and this is, okay, so in the next screencast, um, I will talk about, about the configuration options uh, for the images, uh, where you can have control on, uh, on your image representation. And after that, we will go through uh, other kind of medias, uh, and we will go through the, all the providers that are provided by the module. Thank you for your attention, and see you on the next screencast. Maybe.